I want to send it on over to Dan Griffin, who's been tracking not just our air quality here in the Pacific Northwest, but worldwide. And we are right up there with some of the worst air quality in the world, right, Dan? Yeah, absolutely. And it's really kind of an unfortunate situation. You look at the map here and you consider the majority of the country is doing just fine. But when you look at the Pacific Northwest, it's really concentrated. You get that orange, the yellow, the purples, which really is signifying unhealthy or even very unhealthy air. It's some of the worst in the world. And we've been watching this morning as Seattle kind of tries to make its way for first on that. But uh, if you zoom in to our neck of the woods here, you can really see it too. This is the Seattle area and you see so much purple. That's the very very unhealthy uh, indicator there. Portland sitting at number three. I can see the corner over there too. So obviously this is something that we're all considering, something that's affecting our lives. And joining me uh, live this morning, Glory Hamish. She's the CEO of IQ Air, actually the company that's making these maps that I've been referring to all morning. Good morning, Glory. Good morning, Dan. We are currently ranked alongside entire nations, some of them very well known for very poor air quality. We're talking about China, we're talking about India. They see this level of unhealthy air pretty often. We do not here in Seattle. So what does this mean really when it comes to our overall health? It means it's very unhealthy to actually go outside. It's also means that it's very unhealthy to be indoors at the same time. So this is a real critical time in which we've got to take protective actions. We've got to wear masks, even indoors, just to safeguard our health. Something else that has been top of mind. So obviously this seems to be happening more often. When you consider the data, you look at the trends. Is this a sign of things to come? Is this what we should be expecting in the Pacific Northwest? Unfortunately, it is uh, a sign of the times of what we can come to expect. We've got to take some more precautionary measures, extreme measures to stop global warming. I believe we've got about uh, a couple years, uh, that's what scientists say, to be able to reverse the trend. But this is definitely the effect of global warming. And this is such a plush, beautiful area. You know, we, obviously we love our region and how it looks and nature and the environment. What should we be taking away from being this high on the list? Do you have any advice for maybe getting through the next couple of days or so before we get that rain? Well, you've got to take precautionary measures to safeguard your health with regards to the air that, you, that you're breathing. So if you have an air purifier, if you have an HVAC filter in your home, You've got to start using these. Uh, definitely no exercising, even um, no exercising outdoors, but you've got to talk to your doctor to see if it's even possible if you can exercise indoors because the air quality is at a purple level. This level is a very unhealthy level. So the, these are, are really, really times in which we've got to learn to, to do the right thing uh, swiftly when it comes to our health. I know it's going to be really difficult for people here who love to bike and run and get out there and enjoy it, especially before we get into the rain. But Glory Hammes, CEO of IQ Air, thank you so much for helping us track air quality across the globe. Thank you. All right, so here's a live look outside right now. Again, extremely hazy. If you were looking at your windows, you're probably seeing something like this. Hazy skies over Seattle, very unhealthy looking uh, to those very, people are obviously looking to these very same skies again uh, for precipitation and hoping that this is gonna come in and give us some form of relief. And again, we've seen some schools that have decided to close today. We've got a list on our website. We're gonna keep you updated here on the air as well. Uh, but our website, fox13seattle.com. For now, Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.